Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly once again, and let's take a look at how can you solve the pivot table questions uh, that I gave you using the BI tools of Excel, which is Power Pivot. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these uh, tables. I've just added one more table, uh, which is a calendar table, uh, which just has dates from 1st of January until the 31st of December 2012, right? That's about it. All right, so three tables, sales data, product information, and the calendar table. I'm just going to take that into Power Pivot. How do I do that? Click on the table, go to Power Pivot, add to the data model. The first table comes in right here. Just going to minimize the screen. Take the second table, uh, design tab, sorry, uh, Power Pivot tab, um, add to the data model. The second table also goes to the uh, Power Pivot tab. And finally, the third table, Power Pivot, add to data model. Once I have all the three tables, sales, um, calendar table, and products tables in the data model, I'm going to establish relationships. All right. So here's what I'm going to say that the product ID uh, is uh, the unique ID, and you can fetch that from the product IDs table. So the relationship goes this way, connects to the product ID. And the date is common here, so take the date and link it right here. So that's how the two tables are now connected. Now, I don't really have to write a bunch of VLOOKUPs, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to create a pivot table and put it on a new worksheet. All right, now I'm going to write measures. Um, and measures are formulas inside pivot table using the DAX formula language. The first, th the first measure is going to be for total sales, right? because my commission and everything is going to be paid on total sales and everything. So I will write a measure on total sales. All right, so I'm going to write equals to sum X, uh, go in every single row of the sales table and uh, apply a VLOOKUP and get me what? Get me the product price uh, and multiply it with the units uh, in the sales table and multiply that with 66 because that's my exchange rate. It's just, the formula has no errors. Let's just give this as a, a currency, which is Indian rupee. Okay. And I have a measure here, which is total sales, right? If I just drag it here, I get to know that the total sales is 32 lakhs, 41,000, right? Now, next measure is going to be on the commission. So I add a measure because I need to calculate commission month on month. So I'm going to say commission payout. Right. And I'm going to write equals to sum X again. So go in uh, every single row of the sales table and check if the channel is equal to affiliate, because that's what we said. If the channel is equal to affiliate, only then you um, do all the calculations. So I'm just going to find if the channel is equal to affiliate, then uh, apply a VLOOKUP and get me what? Get me the price of the product. Uh, and multiply the price with what? With the um, units sold and multiply it with what? Uh, multiply it with the commission paid out. Uh, otherwise, I'm uh, just going to say what blank. And this entire thing is going to be multiplied by 66. Now, as of now, um, I am uh, multiplying it with 66. Um, uh, this is a static number. So what if the user decides that, hey, my exchange rate is not 66, I, it's, let's say 65 or 64.25 or something like that. Then this can also be made dynamic. Just for illustration purposes, I'm just multiplying it with 66 as a static number, right? So let's just check. The formula gives you an error. I think I missed a bracket right here. It's no errors. So let's just take a look at the commission. We have the commission paid out. And also, why don't we... Um, make it a currency format all right good uh, next is i would like to find out uh, let's just take a look at the question here so we have the total commission paid out that's fine i also want to find out the maximum selling product sales right and then we will find out the name of the product so first find out the sales of the maximum selling product so i'm going to go in sheet one where i am writing the measures and i'm going to write another measure and i'm going to write uh add a measure and i'm going to say say that uh, max product sales right and i'm just this time I'm going to write max x so i'm saying going go in every single row of the uh, let's just create a table actually values of the product products product names actually and my expression is going to be calculate what calculate the total sales that means so this, this formula is essentially saying is that, uh, hey, uh, get take the names of all the products 
and find out their total sales and get me what get me the maximum sales out of that so check no errors all good again a number sorry a currency and rupees okay and this is my total sales of the product right so this is the total sales of the maximum selling product in the last one and a half years now i want to find out the name of the product which what was the product's name like which product gave this much sale right so i'm going to add a measure top selling product name this is a little complicated measure so here's what i'm going to say i first want to find out the top product so i'm just going to use top n for that and so top n and uh my table is going to be values values may i i want to find the 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 name of the product and i want to evaluate by the total sales right so here is what this means is a it means that give me a small table in that table i will have the names of the products and i will have their sales and which value do i want out of that the first value so that that's what it means and i want the first non blank value out of that right so first non blank is i will use it as a wrapper around that if i check uh, this uses two arguments and let me just give the last argument as one which doesn't really matter all right so that gives me the first non blank right but there could be a possibility where the sales are completely blank so i'm just going to use an, a wrapper around this so i'm just going to say if my um, total sales is equals to a blank then give me a blank otherwise the first non blank is going to work so close the bracket check no errors and again this is going to be currency zero okay so top selling product name so uh, i have the practic practical business modeling course so that's the product which sold the maximum in the last one and a half years right all right finally the last question was to do with um, how many uh, high selling days were there each month right and we looked at the last video and we saw that this is not a a day by day data this is a transaction by transaction data so 6th of january could appear three times or 3rd of january could also appear two times so what i need to do is first i need to take a total of all the 6th of january and make sure that i just have that record once so once one date appearing just once right so for that i'm just going to uh, write a measure so i'm just going to come here i'm just going to say so i'm going to write a measure which is a summarize i'm saying summarize the sales table summarize it with the dates uh, so let's say all right so summarize it with the dates and uh, i want to call the column as date sales uh, and the expression that i'm going to use is total sales right so this is this essentially means this that hey create a small table in that table there are going to be two columns there are, there's going to be a single column for a single day so which is your date just appearing once and for every single day i want to create another column the name of the column is going to be date sales and in every sing against every single date i want the total sales that's what uh, this means about and in this table i'm just going to use a sumx if the or if the date sales divided by 66 because we converted that into uh, rupees is uh, greater than 100 then give us a 1 otherwise give us a blank otherwise give us a blank right and just need to apply a couple of brackets right here so one bracket over here uh and the if bracket gets closed right here the sum if bracket gets closed right here and no error so this is 100 dollar days right and uh, let's just take a look so if i just drag it over here i have 203 days in the entire uh table where my sales was above 100 dollars we can also check that it's going to be correct All right now let's just create pivot tables like the expected output it's very very simple now that we have all the measures i'm just going to take out the measures so let's just do commission first so calculate a table i'm just going to put the dates right here it uh, gives me that automatically and i'm just going to take the month and put month right here expand this expand this and i have monthly uh, commission copy that paste that right here now uh, the next thing uh was what the next thing was show the maximum selling product and sales month wise 
Um, so do we have the maximum selling product name? Yes, we have it. So max selling product sales is this much and product name is right here. So now you can see that in the month of January, uh, the maximum selling sales was 17,820 and which product sold that balance sheet template 1.1. Let's just take a look at the output. Does it match? Yes, it matched. The sales also matched right here. Take a look at the next question, which is uh, to find the hundred dollar days. I'm just going to copy the pivot table right here, paste it. And uh, I don't really need this. I don't need to read this. What do I need? A hundred dollar day right here drag it right here and i have hundred dollar days so this tells me that um, in the month of january i had four hundred dollar days that means four days uh, in the entire month of january were more than hundred dollars right that's that's what it means right and it matches with the output as well all right the idea here is not to really teach you that how did i write the measure was the meaning of the measure I just wanted to show you that DAX formulas, the formulas that I've just written are like portable measures, right? So let's say, for example, if I wanted to find out the best selling product by different categories, all that I have to do is take off the month from here and get the category right inside here. So I have the category right inside here. I get the category and I can find out the best selling product and their sales under every single category as well. And just a, in just a few clicks and that's about it. The measures that I've written top sales uh, of the product and the top uh, name of the product will automatically adjust as per that. And you can very well uh, tally these products as well that, okay, in 2012, go by category, apply a bunch of VLOOKUPs and then try to find out the answer. The second thing is that when you're working with a relatively larger database, this is just about 1000 rows of data. If you're working with about 2000, 3000, maybe a 500,000 rows of data, uh, it is really, really slow working with that amount of data sets when you have to write a bunch of VLOOKUPs to arrive to an answer. And just in case, if you are asked the question a little differently, for example, I just asked a question that in 2011 by category, which is the maximum selling product and the product name, right? It can be a very valid question that the business wants Wants to know in that case you'll have to repeat the entire set of calculations once again that is what dax helps you to achieve it dax measures are portable measures you can just drag and drop the fields and the measures will automatically adjust themselves right if you want to know about the dax and uh, want to learn about uh, business intelligence tools of uh, Excel and Power BI. I'm doing a live workshop in Mumbai on the 12th and 13th May and in Gurgaon on the 9th and 10th of June 2018. All the workshop details are mentioned right here. If you live in and around Mumbai or Delhi or if you're in India willing to travel, uh, please feel free to come over to the workshop and attend these um, uh, knowledge about these amazing tools, which is Power Pivot and Power BI. All right. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.